Hey everyone, I'm Hayden, and I made a cool decal with my Cricut Explorer 3. I'm gonna show you how. Let's make it. All right, so we're gonna do that cool decal today, and I'll walk you through everything you need to complete the project. We've got our laptop here with Cricut Design Space open. We're actually gonna use this laptop to put the decal on at the end. Uh, we got Cricut Explorer 3, we've got our trimmer, some accessories for later on in the project. We've got our smart material, which is removable vinyl and our transfer tape. So here in Design Space, we've got a ton of projects that you can search through. And I found one that I like. It's got some uh, guitar stock heads on here, different types of guitars and basses. And I'm a musician, so this kind of speaks to me. So I thought, you know, why not make something cool for my laptop? All I have to do is select the project in Design Space and hit customize. And it brings the project right in here. This is super simple. All I need to do is double click on the text that says name and I'll type my name in there. I select off and I'm going to have to change the text from black to red because I want this to all go on the same piece of material. One of the cool things in design space is when you click on the color swatch, it has a top row of recently used colors, so I can easily find the colors in my project. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to select make it so we can continue on making our project. Design space is going to ask how I want to load the material in the machine, and I know I'm using smart material, which does not require a mat. So I can select without mat here and select continue. This section previews my artwork so I can see how it lays out on the material and where it's going to cut. Everything looks pretty good here, so I'm just going to select continue. It's connecting to my machine. The first step in making something with one of our cutting machines is to set base material. And that's exactly what Design Space prompts you to select. So here in the popular tab, I'm going to select smart vinyl removable because that's what I know I'm using. And if you ever forget, you can always just check the back here and it says Cricut Smart Vinyl Removable. Step two tells me to load tools and material into the machine. Right here we see that there's two simple steps. Load fine point blade and clamp B, which you can see is right here in the machine. All of our machines come with a fine point blade preloaded in the machine in clamp B, so you should be good to go if you haven't taken it out. You also need to load your material and press the load button. You'll see here the load button's flashing on the machine, that just tells you it's ready to go. I'm just going to push this up against the guides and there's two guides for the material right here. You want to make sure they go under both and up against this roller bar right here. I'm going to press the load button. The Explore 3 is measuring the material to make sure there is enough length for cutting. Design Space is now telling me press go. You can also tell when it's time to press go because the machine go button will start flashing at you. It's super simple, just boom. Press go, magic time. Great, machine stopped. The unload button's flashing. Design space also tells me to unload material. Just gonna press the button, material comes out. If you wanna see where your design has cut out on the material, you can just reflect it against the light and you can see your cut lines. It looks like I've trimmed the material uh, enough so I don't need to actually use the trimmer today but because smart vinyl comes in rolls you may want to trim down your material for your project so I'm just going to start removing the excess material um, we've got this cool little tool right here it's a weeder tool and we just use it to pick away all the material that we don't need start here in the corner and just start to take up the material you can see that it peels away nicely and because this design has some more intricate detail I'm going to want to be a little bit more gentle as I'm removing these smaller areas. But smart material comes off like a dream anyway. All right. Little trick that I like to do is as I'm pulling vinyl off the backer, I start to cut pieces that I've already taken off. And that just reduces all the excess material in my hand. So I got my name up here. Oh, this is a great example of why you should be more delicate with these smaller areas. So 
going to take my weirder tool and pull away from the E in my name. And there you go. The decal cut out really well. I'm stoked with how that looks. Okay, I've got my decal done. And now I'm going to use the Cricut transfer tape to take my decal off this backer and put it onto my laptop. I'm going to take my weeding tool and I'm just going to grab the corner to get the backer off this transfer tape for you will get it eventually. Ah, I got it. Okay, so I've got the corner peeled out here. Um, and this is just a fun little trick I like to do. Uh, saves a whole lot of time. But I just like to peel back the top about an inch across the entire width of the transfer tape. And I'll show you why. Because it's a whole lot of sticky area to mess with. So, to reduce that frustration, I just peel it back. I'll give it kind of a soft crease there. And then I'm going to take my decal right here, and I'm just going to apply this top inch to the top of the backer. Now you want to make sure that the transfer tape goes over the full width of your design. All right, got that on there. And I'm just going to rub that down. Now, I've got this crease back here and I can just start to pull and it applies it, the transfer tape, to, it applies the transfer tape to my decal. That's a lot of excess. <laughs> but it's okay, you can have excess, you're just going to do a bunch of trimming at this point. So before I start to trim things up, I'm going to take my scraper here and I'm just going to make sure all the air bubbles get out of this. Also, we want to apply the front of these decals to the transfer tape. So you want to scrape pretty good, get all the air bubbles out. This is not recommended for getting air bubbles out of your baby. All right, that's pretty good for this side. I'm just gonna flip it over and do the same thing on this side, the back side. And as you're doing this, you can also feel with more pressure where your decal edges are. All right, that's good enough. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut the excess part of my backer and transfer tape. The reason I'm cutting all this excess off is because it makes it a lot easier to apply to your final surface. There's the decal uh, with the transfer tape applied. Next, you want to remove the transfer sheet from the backer. The goal is to keep the decal sticking to the front of the transfer tape. What I like to do is flip it over and peel the backer away from the transfer tape. And you can see that's starting to work beautifully. So I've got my design on the transfer sheet and I'm just gonna move the laptop up here so I can align the next of the guitar with the laptop. And again, I'm just eyeballing this. You can choose to measure if you want, but I think this is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna take my scraper tool and just gently apply the decal to the laptop. Now I just grab the corner of the transfer tape and start to peel away.
and look at that. It's just sticking on there perfectly. That's why they call it smart material, you know. Knows where to stay. That's not true. All right. It might look like we applied the decal upside down, but actually it's positioned in such a way so that you can read it when the laptop's open. Thanks so much for watching. This project is a great example of how you can make a decal for anything you want. So you keep watching the Let's Make It videos. I'm gonna go write a song. We'll see ya.